and welcome back to our kitchen. Happy Sunday evening. Tonight we are making fajitas. Easy Favorite. Fajitas. Yeah, Sarah absolutely loves fajitas. This was Sarah's request. And what are we doing, Sarah? <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, we're gonna do, uh, <laughs> this is actually why I always say drop a comment because we will try and incorporate them. We're gonna do our year and how long we've been together, six I, months. I feel like we've been together like 18 months now, but I basically <laughs> we started this thing where we asked questions at three weeks and three months and six months and we've never actually done it again since. Well, we're supposed to do six months and we never did six months either. So, um, did we not? I don't think we did. So it's the questions that we asked each other when we were newly in love at three weeks into our relationship. And if you're gay here, you'll know that is about 30 years. So now we're on about 90 years of relationship, aren't we? And um, yeah, and we're gonna cook for heaters at the same time. One tray, it's tray bake for heaters, which is my favorite thing to do because you literally chop everything up, season and stick it in the oven and just then you can go and do whatever. You can put the kids to bed, bath the kids. Oh, um, this is cool. You know, and that's from M&S. And I'm using the fajita spice kit from M&S. So, uh, it's okay, first things first. I don't like, I like to use the chicken last. Quick, the chicken last, I don't like getting chicken on my hands. So I'm gonna slice the- Do you want me to that bit? You want to slice the peppers? Uh, no, I mean the chicken, so oh. I don't go on your hands. Yeah, please. Okay, so I'll do, I'll do, I'll do that bit. Yeah, so I'm gonna <laughs> slice the peppers and then, um, Go from there, and let's go. Um, pumpkin eater. Yeah. What have you forgotten on the peppers? Turn, turn that piece over. <laughs> um, if you leave a sticker on it, it tastes really good. Actually, <laughs> I learned that from um, a chef that I watched online. Okay. Question. Uno. <laughs> I just can't help it, like, it's actually, this is just unedited YouTube, Yeah, as yeah. you can see. Leave the fun bits in. Yeah, so question number one. Do you want me to ask first, or do you want to ask? No, I'll ask first, give me inspiration of what to say. Uh, yeah, I knew that would be the case, yeah. Describe me in three words. Energetic. Um... He's struggling. I know, I am struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling to be nice, so. Um... <laughs> Energetic. Uh, generous. She's literally one of the most generous people I've ever met in my life. Um, and no, probably is the most generous person I've ever met in my life. And obviously, and home. That hit the stick off. She's like, yeah, she's my home. I'll always like home to me is not a place now. Home. It's it's definitely Sarah. It's a person. How about you? Stole that off me. Yeah. <laughs> Which obviously means I can't then say that. <laughs> Describe me in three words. Annoying. No, I'm joking. That's me, unfortunately. <laughs> and I'm going to strip the yellow pepper. Again, sticker. Without the sticker on. Um, yellow peppers don't taste as great with stickers on. I think nice is such a boring word, so can you give me like a thesaurus for nice? Because nice is like nice, but nice in like a, a homely type way, just like nice. Like Charlotte's a nice person. Oh, thank you, Puddin. Like, yeah, but it's a really, it sounds like a really crap word, but it's like a, as a whole, because it's like in everything she does, like how you speak to a waiter, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, she's just nice, like, naturally nice. Oh, um, I felt nice. like that needed a bit of an extra, extra explanation than just, just nice. nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, like that, that nice ice cream that you had yesterday, or that, yeah, that sounds... nice flower pot you saw in somebody's um, window, or the weather that's just nice. Anyway, that was number one. <laughs> number two. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't really like changing it into like aesthetically, but um, pretty, and I use pretty because uh. it's a, n a nicer <laughs> No, you, you pretty. Pretty is like, a nice version of attractive. God's sake. <laughs> Stop it. No, you've got like a, like, a, like a nice face, like a pretty face. It's pretty. I don't know how to explain it so and uh, for me to get what I mean out. Like, yeah, like it's, it's warming. It's like... Like your face feels like my home. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> Let's just all say yeah. Everyone at home say yeah. <laughs> can I get a <laughs> oh, yeah? Um. <laughs> right. Ooh. Ooh. Jeez, it's quite a place. Samurai over here. Right. And intelligent. Intelligent, yeah. Charlotte is that person, um, and she she absolutely hates it when I do it, but I ask her every question known to man and expect her to just know the answer. Yeah. But it's um, nice uh, to know that most of the time she, she gets the answer. And what really annoys me about you, sorry, pumpkin, what annoys me about her is then the one time that she doesn't know the answer, she'll flip. 
She's like, why are you doing this? She just no happy that all of the time. It's like she's angry at the fact that she didn't know something. So yeah. She takes it out on me. Maybe that's rather what, than... maybe that is the problem. Maybe I don't I think like it is, definitely. Deep down, I just didn't realise. Because the rest of the time, she knows the answer. She's nice as pie about it to me. And she'll just tell nice. me, pumpkin, so this means like this and this and this. And, and really like helpful. And if you don't know it, it's... Yeah, but she usually, she usually asks me in front of people and I'm like... Like, you know when you're like on the spot and you should know it and I'm like, I don't know it, I don't know it. So it's kind of like what happens. Anyway, they were lovely, weren't they? They were nice answers, weren't they? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> but there's no pausing. <laughs> we dedicated <laughs> ourselves to doing like... Okay, what do you love... Oh, I can't even read my own writing here. What do you love the most about me so far? What do I love Chopping the most the onions, about, by the way, guys. about you so far? See, that's really weird at like yeah. 20 million years yeah. that we're now in. Because there's no real like, so yeah. far. Was it love or like? like? I don't know, I can't read your writing. <laughs> what do you love? You love? <laughs> so far. <laughs> can I say your cuddles? Can that be my answer? Oh, yeah, I like that answer, actually. Cuddles can stay. <laughs> cuddles can stay. Yeah. Is there, yeah, off the top, like, cuddles? Um, yeah. My, the thing I love the most about you so far, well, just in, Ooh, we're not in general, it's not, yeah, we're not crying yet, it's the, just the way you make me feel like me and the way I know that I make you feel like you and that just works. Like, I just, I just love how we're so ourselves around each other, so, thank you. <laughs> and now you guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, I want to drink my tea, but I've got onion on my hands, but you know what, here's to being British. Onions have layers, <laughs> ogres have layers. Okay, so what is the biggest fallout we've had so far? I'm doing the chicken now. Do you want to do the chicken? I'll do it. No, I'll do it, John. I know you hate it. Just put it on the side there. So, so far, this looks like this, guys. Oh, it's nothing colourful, nothing pretty. Yeah, and then we're just going to season it with a heater. That's better. Um, what do you want it cut into, like, cubes? Like strips, please. Like for heater strips. <laughs> We've got our chicken out of the freezer because we use muscle food chicken, so um, we freeze it when it comes. Okay, so what, Wait, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> What's the biggest fallout we've had so far? It's probably like when... It's hard to think that because we don't... I know that we, don't, that we yeah, say, yeah, but we actually out. don't really fall out. We have like tiffs and we have moments, yeah. but we don't fall, fall out. out. Which is surprising because I feel like I'm most angsty against Sarah when we're at her parents' house because sometimes, um, like she'll say something to her mom and I'm like, "Don't speak to your mom like that," or they don't. You know what I mean? I never speak to my mom badly. I'm no, very no, nice. no. You don't speak to her badly, but sometimes, like your mom will say something and then you'll be like, "Oh no, mom," and then I'm like, "Sarah," and really, it's probably. Sarah being put into a corner, and <laughs> now I'm still going, Sarah. I think always get put into the corner. Yeah, yeah, that's more like what it is. She's not like horrible to her me. mom, but. I know, um, yeah, I don't want people thinking that. Like, yeah, you're definitely I'm not. like the best daughter in the world. I bought my mum a hot tub with the first bit of money I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah, she did actually. Yeah, she did, that's true. But other than that, yeah, we don't really fall out, do we? So, which is just stupid things. It's just like things like not flushing the toilet and like to like why are you not putting socks in the washing in all basket? fairness and i'll be honest <laughs> i'll be coming at you and i'll be honest um the only time me and charlotte for that is usually because i've done something wrong <laughs> i will hold my hands up and admit that though <laughs> I, I mean it's not I, i'm just so dopey it's just like she's a little bit like lax in something so and i'm very not lax, not lax in lax anything in any, yeah i like things and i'm i know i'm annoying i like things the way i like them in life like it, that's just who i am i know what i like and i know what i don't like so i'm like sarah why are the shoes in the shower i took them off in the bathroom but why are they there that's kind of what if we have anyway next question no, that didn't go in the basket that okay. was last night actually yeah was we had that night. one last night that threw me socks next to the basket i just in watched the basket. it i watched them like catapult across the room and I just think they're going nowhere near that basket are they and they land like 20 miles out of it filming and I just think oh anyway next question <laughs> nicely brings us on to what is your most annoying habit oh wait put an eight, uh, um <laughs> yeah we do actually talk like this to each other it's gross I know uh, do I need to put oil there or anything or just put no no on? no no oil thank you very much okay. um, you reference to everyone else making this no oil needs to on the tray <laughs> so everything goes in the tray sorry it's such an easy uh, recipe Sarah's just chopping the chicken and wrapping it on the tray and then what we'll do is we'll spray it in low calorie cooking spray, a little okay, bit of fajita of spice and then chuck it in the oven for like, I like my chicken cooked, so like 40 minutes and then done and then we'll warm for I think everyone likes the chicken cooked. No, I like, I like it like <laughs> extra cooked, shut up. 
<laughs> what was the question? The uh, most annoying habit. Sarah's is definitely um, leaving her shit everywhere around the house. It has to be that. It literally has to be. And Charlotte's is telling me off for doing that. Yeah, yeah. I just sometimes... No, my, my annoying habit is where I clean up because I just move everything. Um, She's that typical woman that starts like huffing as she puts stuff like <sighs> purpose of making stuff louder. It's just a little <sighs> sexist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the most romantic thing I've ever done for you? Is it is it romantic or is it just like you do quite a few like nice gestures like the other day you're buying like um there's some burritos you wanted and that. <laughs> Um, she does that at like, and this is going to sound really weird because I don't know if this is romantic or just again, just like a really good human thing to do, but um, we're watching say Line of Duty for instance, and she, she sometimes, like, I'll fall asleep first, and Charlotte will carry on watching it, whereas actually if I, if you fall asleep first, I'll turn it off, but regardless, she'll get to the ending and she'll make sure that I can't guess the ending, she'll actually make me think that the ending is something <laughs> yeah. else. And then it actually, it, and then I'm always it. shocked because I think she's kind of told me, do you know what I mean? She'll, she'll edge it in a way and I'm like, oh, right, okay, I yeah. actually get it. And I'm like, what? Well, you practically just made that obvious to me, Charlotte. And then obviously I'll come to watch it and it's... I like to surprise yeah. it because I don't want her to like know what happens about, because like stuff like Line of Duty is amazing. The twists at the end are always mm. so good. So yeah. I don't know if that's, it's not necessarily no, romantic though, but you know, know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it's... Yeah, it's not, it's not like... I think that's actual relationship romance, right? Yeah, maybe it's your like average day, like roses, like not, yeah. spoiling, not spoiling Netflix is the new. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate, red wine, and roses. So this is not going to be good in a relationship. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's the most romantic thing you've done Ow. for me? Oh, keeping all your fingers, probably. <laughs> and I'm going to leave that one there. Um, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't really know. I, I just feel like every day you're a bit of a... A romantic like in the morning she'll she i wake up first make a coffee and then she won't get out of bed till i give her a big cuddle and that's just like we romance cuddle every morning it's just like oh, every morning and like when I, I came out today sorry i'm not gonna get you with it i know I was <laughs> you came out. When, when i came out today and when you was leaving and i kind of like chased her to make sure i give her like a last kiss before yeah. going type thing yeah. she was shouting out the door love you love you and someone got out the lift so i got in it because we live in an apartment block and she went love you pumpkin and this guy came out the lift like <laughs> <laughs> and I just went, bye Sarah. <laughs> uh, I did wonder why you didn't say love yeah, you back in all fairness. I was like, where's I my I didn't know what to do. Um, what do you think my family think of you? Or me? Oh, they absolutely adore me. Mm. I am better in Charlotte's family than Charlotte. Yeah. Well, the kids love me. I mean, kids understandably, I am yeah. in bed, do behave like a child. Not all of the time, but a good 70% of the time. I'll admit it, it's fine. Neverland is where I live, um, but yeah, um, and I think the sisters and that like really love me because I'm just like up with the kids and stuff. Yeah. Um, Did you want me to put the hot tub off your hand? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Um, this today, my sister called because her daughter is off with chicken pox. She's only um, three, and she was like, "Sarah's my favourite. Where's Sarah? I want Sarah <laughs> to look after me." And I was just like, "Okay, thank you." And then the other way around as well. I think. Um, Sarah's family are just thankful for me, <laughs> probably. Because uh, we just both keep each other out of trouble, and I think that's for both of our families think that. Like, we're just. My thankful. family think the sun shines out. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably being very nice about what yeah. Sarah's family thinks about me right now. <laughs> but, yeah. My family thinks Charlotte is literally a godsend. She is an angel that's been given to me down from heaven. Yeah. Well, like, literally. I'm just like, you want to date very pretty, so I feel like that is angel <laughs> behaviour. Uh, what have you learned about each other in the last 18 months? Well, <laughs> so much. I have learned that, um, I have learned that I was looking for a Sarah in my life the whole time. Oh, that's too cute. That's what I needed. That's what I have learned, that everything is, everything is perfect when I'm with Sarah, so, yeah. Oh, and I've spoken another for heat season. I'll show you what it is so you can see. No, I've not seen that before, to be honest. Yeah, it's just a pound from um, Marks and Spencers. You're supposed to use it. Let's see, actually. So we did a post. So if you're not following us on our platforms, make sure you are following us on all our other platforms. So like the food-related, the fitness-related, and all of that jazz. How many calories are on that? Um, so we did a post to basically say, um, don't count herbs and spices. Like, 
if you're going to do so things like that, it's going to get you to be kind of obsessed yeah. about it and stuff like that. And you've got to be careful on that kind of things as well. The case of 10, 30 calories a day, if you yeah, don't, if you miss that, about 30 you do what, anything. In what I've just put on here. Yeah. That's in 100 grams. So, and then but if you think it. about it, that's them being cut down into X amount. So per actual one, in the it's only a couple of calories per one that you're not counting. And no, a couple of calories don't make a difference. If it was like 20 calories, like here and there and there and there, then yeah, they need to be tracked. We put like black coffee on there mm. and someone was like... They track black coffee. You don't need to do that. You've got to be careful as well in the opposite end of the scale. So it is all about balance and obviously leading a healthy lifestyle too. Sorry, I just had to jump in with that one. Okay. Um, but yeah, that kind of thing we explain obviously on our other platform. So make sure you follow in all that kind of gel. <laughs> Stay up to date with that. Um, oh, what was it my... What have I've you learned about me in the last 18 months? Oh, it's not necessarily like... I've learned that someone, so it, like, and obviously that's someone being you, can actually like accept you as you are. Uh, like, I've never, no, I've never been able to, like, well, you know this anyway, I say it all the yeah. time to you. Like, actually be able to be yourself. Like, I, I'm not childish, but I do sometimes behave a bit childish. I'm a bit nervy, aren't I? I'm a bit twitchy and whatever else. And I've always been very cautious and wary and stayed clear of showing that to anyone kind of thing. And even because of that, I've not actually spent time with sort of anyone else, say that I've previously been with or whatever, to make sure that I don't behave that way. But Charlotte literally just lets me behave exactly the way that I'm designed to behave, and it's mm -hmm. really nice. I wouldn't um, want to be with somebody who wasn't themselves anyway. And if she was herself and I didn't like that, then, you know, then you just leave. So if you are with somebody who doesn't let you behave the way you want to behave and that you, then on, like, thank you, next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Next. Yeah, like, I'm a complete goop ball. Um, and Charlotte allows me to be that way without yeah. making me feel like a goop ball. Yeah, I like So learning that really someone good. actually can love you the way you are supposed to be loved. No, pumpkin. <laughs> I love you. Um, if you could tell me anything right now, what would it be? If I could tell you? Yeah. Get a move on with her posing to me, innit? I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, we've got so much on that we're just like, we're both sort of like, yeah. for anyone else wondering when the question's going to be popped, we're just very focused driven um, people yeah. and we just want to live a lot of our life before we the see stress a bit of, the of all that. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, um, yeah. I would tell you the same thing, I love you and you will get a ring on the finger one day. <laughs> a bit, big, big, big down, big, we're, big we're down so spot career more. focused big. right now, aren't we? Big, yeah. A big sparkly diamond and That's I need to I save up for this because she wants a big ring, she wants a big rock on her hands and I obviously need time to say no. Uh, yeah, so I think it's just, we're very, we're really focused on, um, on our career and I think that's going to be a question soon. What worries do you have about each other? Worries? I don't have any about you. Me neither. And I think I answered that before. Was Actually, I changed that. that. I'm just worried that you'll get tired of me because I'm an absolute consistent case. Consistent case. Well, <laughs> it happens to be that I love consistent cases. So, uh, No, I don't have any worries. Um, before when we had this question at like three months, it was, oh, what if we leave each other? But here we are. Oh, oh yeah, I'm not worried about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, what's next for us? This is a really good question because um, our answer to the one before was we want to conquer the world and literally we feel yeah. like we're doing that. Definitely. We re re watched, re -watched, re -watched the other it, one yeah. to obviously get the questions for this yeah. one. Um, and yeah, then we were like, want to conquer the world and actually, yeah. Yeah, we feel like we're doing it. Job. We're going to LA in a few days time. Actually, when you see this, we'll, we'll be in, in LA. <laughs> so we'll be there, sunning it up when you watch this. Um, but we're, we're really focusing on our business um, and our influence in the fitness world and the diet world as well. That's a massive thing to us. It's really important to us. And that is what we're going to be doing for the next few years and then settle down and um, once our business is where we want it. Yeah, we've got a couple of books we want to bring out, yeah, right? A few There's books. two on the list, one yeah. that I've been promising for a while, but yeah. I will get it done. And then we'll be moving point. out of Manchester as well. We've been here six months, but we're gonna be here another maybe year, perhaps, and then we'll be getting a, hopefully a little house somewhere where it's a little quieter. What, we've got six months left here? Yeah. Oh, right, so and yeah, then, it'll yeah, be about a year, year then, so and we're then, gonna yeah. chuck another six months on. Keep working here, because Manchester's really motivating, it's great to be in the heart of everything, but then when we've sort of settled down with the business, we're gonna then um, get a house out on the outskirts of Manchester. We'll still stay within the Manchester, Cheshire area. And then, yeah, and then it'll be, hopefully, if we can, family time, won't it? 
<laughs> that she'll, was I was joking. She'll love it. So yeah, <laughs> that is it. So um, we hope you enjoyed this, guys. Using the baby as a weight, I'll be like, can't get to the gym. It's okay. I use child. Don't worry. So we stop using the child as a weight. Well, if it lets me sleep, it's fine. Um, anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching again. Uh, happy Sunday. Hope you have a good week ahead. If you haven't followed us on our socials, don't forget to do it. Subscribe now if you haven't too. Charlotte Torrance, you on Instagram. Sarah Hutchinson underscore PT on Instagram. And we've got Soul and Courage underscore weight loss, where we put so much more free information all of the time. How to help and you get the your TikToks. Goals. And the TikToks as well. Shar and Sarah and <laughs> Soul underscore Courage. <laughs> And I'm going to go and bug Charlotte for a bit longer now, so yeah. bye! And either for heaters, oh, and by the way, we just warm the wraps up for a couple of minutes in the oven and then boom. And we always have whole meal. This is something that I keep talking about because it really winds me up to so much. Yeah. Like PTs and, and nutritionists and whatever else seem to just have kind of white food. It is just naturally better for you. It's such an easy swap. It's better for you. Eat your fibre, you won't be constipated, you'll do better. <laughs> Goodbye, Good night.